What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are back at this addition and remodel job. The guys have been here all day yesterday and today, sheetrocking away. And we're pretty much done with the second floor. This wall we're waiting on because in this corner here, we have an AC return. It's going on the face of that wall. And we're gonna box it out, so that's why we didn't sheet rock that because we don't have the material for that yet. But all the bedrooms up here are done. We got this one done. The little closet in here is done. Bathroom has dirt rock in the shower, all done. Sheet rock all in here and we have this piece off right now because we have a tub going right here which is in this box but we wanted to make sure that all the plumbing for it was set at the right height so we didn't want to sheet rock it and then have it be in the wrong height so we're going to test fit it before we throw that piece of sheet rock on just in case these need to get raised up or drop down a little bit so coming downstairs We don't have anything in the old part of the house done yet. We don't actually have the sheetrock for it. I'm about to run and pick it up, but the addition is pretty much all sheetrocked, at least the main part of it. We have this wall to do still, and then we're coming into this bathroom next. We got this little area here, and then we have this closet, or not closet, this is a laundry room. So, over here, this bathroom is a priority right now. The other one is done because the fiberglass guy is coming tomorrow to watertight the entire shower. So, we have to have this done today. And besides that, we're in pretty good shape, but I have. Giovanni out here emptying this van because we have to go pick up sheetrock right now. All the sheetrock for the first floor in here. I'll show you real quick. This whole first floor is all, all nine foot ceilings. So we're getting we're getting 54 inch sheetrock. That way you only have one seam across the middle and you don't have like a one foot piece on the top or the bottom, whichever way you do it. But we didn't get any of the 54 inch delivered when my father sent the ticket in. He had a list and he scanned it into his computer and the last piece got jammed up and we figured that out today when we looked at all the sheetrock and realized that none of the 54 inch got delivered. So me and Giovanni are about to run in this van and pick it up and get it back here. So we just got back here. We got 12 buckets of spackle, 
dropped inside and we got a lot of sheetrock in here. Let's take a look. This van is jam packed. We got 27 sheets of half inch by 12 foot by 54 inch. And we got 12 sheets of uh, 14 foot half inch by four foot. So there's not much room. If you look down on the side, you could probably fit two more pieces unless we stood it up a little more straight. But it is jam packed in here. So we're gonna pull these 14 footers out cause they didn't shut. We had the door strap shut and then we're gonna shut it and leave these in here for tonight because it is getting close to clean up time. So we'll get these out and then we can at least lock the van here. One second. Look at these guys, they move 12 pieces of sheetrock and they need a break. Hey, I finished everything the sheetrock inside, it's ayuda me. Let's look, let's look, you finished everything? Everything. Let's look, let's look. Rodrigo, where? Where, Rodrigo? You told me you were finished. All right guys, so we are getting cleaned up and let me show you around real quick. Second floor, pretty much. All done. We got piles of dust and cuts just all over the place. This room's clean, it's been swept. So we are in good shape. Bathroom completely done. You gotta have the fiberglass guy here tomorrow, waterproofing all of this. He's gonna do this little built-in niche here. It's kind of a niche, I guess we'll call it that. But these are, these are ready niches. You can see the name right there, kind of. So these you just buy it off like probably Amazon. I don't really know where my father gets them, but this is kind of the same thing. We just framed it in and sheetrocked it, but we're gonna have him waterproof that. That way 
when you're in the tub here, if you want to use soap or something and shampoo, whatever you're doing, and you put it on there, if it's just dripping, you're not getting all your sheetrock wet. Plus, this is sheetrock on the closet in the other room. So, obviously, you don't want that getting wet. But, staircase, all the we gotta do the bottom of the stairs. And then, this whole room is pretty much done. We got this wall and the downstairs of the old house left to do tomorrow, plus the laundry room here and a little bit in this little hallway here. This bathroom was all done today. We got this one done because the fiberglass guy is coming tomorrow, so this will all get waterproofed as well. But we are in pretty good shape. If you guys have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Peace.